welcome to neutral side action, and we're just about ready for kickoff. Before we head down to the field for the coin toss, we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. The pregame festivities are over, and we're just about set to get this game underway. He's to the 20. And down he goes at the 30-yard line. Watson's a kid right now, Herbie, that I think a lot of people didn't know about maybe a month or so ago. Right now, he's starting to climb that ladder as one of the great ones in college football. There's certain points in a guy's career where they have an opportunity to kind of take that next step. And this young man has been able to do that. He's been given the opportunities to make big plays, and he's been able to capitalize on it. We'll see if that continues today. They're going to get him the ball, and if they get him the ball, can he continue to make the big plays that this offense has really started to grow accustomed to? Second and 11 coming up now. Ball on their own 28. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Wide open and he just drops it. Five wide. And he's taken down. Right around the 36-yard line. I'd say that went about as well as the defense hoped it would. He dropped it. I'll tell you, a few plays in football can test your concentration like returning punts. you got to see the ball into your hands while not worrying about being hit. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. There he goes. And they get nice yardage on that one. Felder gains seven yards on that play. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. The 49-yard line. There's nothing more effective that a team can do offensively than to pound the ball right at the defense, trying to wear them down. Laterals back. He gets hit out of bounds at about the 43-yard line. So it's second down now. They need about four yards to pick up the first. So the option keeper will get him a first down. It's a very well executed option play. The blocking was there. And the quarterback made the correct decision to keep it himself and get the first down. Looking for the corner. He's at the 20. To the 10. Touchdown saving tackle, but it leaves him with a first and goal. That's another first down, Brad. And right now, you can just really feel and sense the rhythm that this offense is in. Their ability to pick up first downs, just pushing this defense further and further down, back deep into their own territory. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Inside the red zone of mixing up the play calling. That touchdown obviously fooled the defense. He splits the uprights with the extra point. 
A six-play, 70-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Brad, that's one of those drives that can just tear your heart out. It can really demoralize the defense when they drive the ball down the field, and a lot of the yards came on the ground. So our score, 7-0. Perkins from the 2. He's to the 20. He makes it to the 25-yard line. The Falcons are right where they want to be early in this one, Parker. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Play action. Now he's on the move. Slides down. He gained a good six yards on that scamper. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Caught, and he's hit immediately. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, give a lot of credit to the defense here, recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. Hall is the punter. And he can't hang on to the ball. And he's tackled at the 44-yard line. And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. He's got an opening. Gains his way to the 43-yard line. From the 43-yard line, it's first down. He's tackled at the 42. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. Tackle made right around the 38-yard line. From the 38-yard line, third down. in that first quarter or blame the offenses for a lack of production. The Falcons lead 7-0. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. And they make the stop at the 30. And again, they're going for it on fourth down. Out to the 
the tailback, and he dropped it. So they turn it over on downs, and that's a big boost for this defense. In a close game like this one, it's big plays like this that can be the deciding factor. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. And he makes it out to about the 31-yard line. Second and eight. Ball on their own 31. This quarterback is tough as nails. Brad, he's going to sit in that pocket and give himself a chance. The only problem is, at some point, you've got to have a feel. Almost that sixth sense on when to get out of there and avoid the pressure, or just to throw the ball before you get hit. Boy, was he drilled as he let go of that football. Yeah, he's going to feel that one tomorrow. That makes us a Bullock is back deep to return. <laughs> Makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. From their own 43-yard line, it's second down. And he throws it away. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. Very good tackle in space. yard line first down takes it up the middle for a nice run Once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. They come out on an empty backfield. And he's immediately tackled. He's got an opening. Inside the 10. The one yard line. First and goal from the one, looking to punch this one in. They put everyone up on the line. Pitch right and taken down for a loss. This is the ninth play of this drive. Tackle around the nine yard line. Makes 
It's third down. They need eight yards here to get the ball in the end zone. Puts it right in his hands. Touchdown. And a nice catch by the receiver for the touchdown. Anytime you're near the red zone, you got to keep an eye for this guy. They love going to him down here. And he tacks on the extra point. 10 play, 61 yard drive, and it's good for seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run in the pass. Just an overall well executed touchdown. Play. Beanie has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. Taken from the three yard line. He's taken down at the 31 yard line. The Bobcats have got to find a way now to get the football in this guy's hands. And I think about basketball players and a jump shooter. You can't get him the, the ball, get him to the free throw line, get him one free one from 15 feet. Or... I agree with you 100%. I mean, and this is one of those games where the defense has just been suffocating. They've taken this wide receiver out of the game. Uh, this offense has not been able to come up with some answers. I would continue to fight as an offensive coordinator and a play caller to find different ways to get this receiver a touch. And all it takes, Brad, as you said, is just one play to maybe create that spark and get this confidence established for this offense. Fires incomplete. He was looking for the tight end. From their own 31-yard line. Third down. Complete pass and hit hard as he came down with it. Matthew picks him up about three yards with the catch. Hall is waiting for the snap. Gets to about the 44-yard line. The Falcons were just cruising through this first half, Herbie. Really a comfortable lead here. Yep, but still a lot of football left to be played. they got to remember that it's a four-quarter game, and even though that first half went pretty well, things can change in a hurry. The quarterback is on his way back onto the field, and he led a great drive last time out. Get a quick throw. And he tackles him hard at the 50-yard line. They're about four yards away here on second down. Screen pass. He's got his halfback. He's pushed out of bounds at the 48. That makes it 33. Gains his way to the 36-yard line. Nothing tentative on that run at all. He looked very determined and got the first down. First and 10, ball on the 36. They'll spread the field with five wide. He's hit and taken down. This one's going deep to the end zone. The defender had it and then dropped it. Oh, I bet the defender wishes he had that one back. Yeah, anytime you have a chance to end the drive, especially in your own end zone, you just got to make that play. Tackled after a decent run up the gut. receiver this is the eighth play of this drive and that sets them up with a first and goal tries to buy some time. They'll make the sack. But the defense is fired up, responding and reacting to that sack. Not only did they get the quarterback, but they hit him 
and hit him hard. I think that can really create some confidence for this defense. The next time this quarterback drops back to throw, you got to be thinking he's going to be a little bit gun shy and concerned about the pressure that these defense is putting on him. And it's Butsy uprights. I have a feeling this ball is going nowhere near the return man with this kickoff, most likely to end the half. Perkins fields it at the three. Brought down at the 30 yard line. And that'll do it for the first half. Still plenty of football to be played. 17 to nothing, Falcons. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Chris Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Perhaps the most important statistic in any football game is turnover margin. I once had a wise coach tell me that the football was so important they named the game after it. Whatever that means. I think it means that you're not supposed to let it get away from you and give it to the other team. And so far, both of these offenses have done a great job of that. No doubt. And most games are lost, not won. And, and it's because of the turnover differential. And you can look at the stats when you say that every single time. But, you know, both teams doing a good job taking care of it. Both offenses executing and still calling a game, still, still scoring points, still putting up good numbers, but at the same time taking care of the pigskin. And they better value that thing because, yeah, you give it away and bad things happen. Just about ready to start the second half. We're going to watch all the games around the country, including some coaches who like to sample the surface that they're playing on. I'll, I'll keep an eye on that. Yeah, I'm going to go to the cafeteria. You want some turf, some astro turf or anything? Yeah, if they've got some, I'll chew on that in the second half. Here's the second half for you to chew on with Brad and Kirk. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. He's to the 20. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. It's a new possession for this offense, so what will it hold? Second and five. Ball on their own 32. And he just gets rid of it. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Yard line. Townsend awaits the snap. Steps out of bounds. The 33 yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Taken down around the 32-yard line. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 32. Five wide. Quick strike, and he drops it. Screen pass gets it to the back. They'll bring him down the 47 yard line. And a nice pick up there. I'll tell you what, the defense gambled a bit here and came with the blitz. And a quarterback showed tremendous poise by making a good read and delivered a nice ball to the open man. First and 10. All of their own 47.
to review the play, the ruling on the field stands. So they review it, but there's just not enough evidence to overturn this one. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That's a game of six on the play. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. He makes it to the 45-yard line. fourth down and they're going to try to go for it they'll line up with five wide receivers swings it out there incomplete their last drive broke down and they punted what do they have in store this time out the 43-yard line. From the 43-yard line, it's first down. Tackle made right around the 34. Six yard line. First down. That's a great tackle at the 29 yard line. to pick up the first down. Bounds at about the five-yard line. Throws it in a hurry. I really like going to the tight end here on third down. It's not even about the defense not expecting it, because I think they did. It's about mismatches. He's probably bigger and stronger than the guy who's trying to cover him. And they make the stop right around the six-yard line. Here's the eighth play of the series. He's on the run. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. It's the ninth play of the drive. There's a strike complete. Brought down just outside the goal line. The offense is staying on the field. It's all or nothing. Here we go. They line up in the jumbo set. 
Quick strike, tight end, and that's a touchdown. That's TD pass number three. The one thing this quarterback does a nice job of is taking what the defense gives him. He's always looking for the open target. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A 10-play, 54-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. But the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. He'll return it from the three. Gets out to about the 21. The Bobcats have just gone ice cold on offense. They can't seem to get anything going. Here. Well, and right now, they just have to forget the score, forget the clock, just go out there and try to get a first down, try to hope to build a little bit more confidence and continuity on this offense. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Decides to slide. So at the end of three... The Falcons lead 24-0. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. and gets out of bounds. That was a really nice play on the ball by the receiver for a substantial gain and a first down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 38. Throws quickly, it's almost intercepted. Great reaction to get his hands in the way of that pass. That's not an easy play to make. From their own 34-yard line, it's third down. They come out in an empty backfield. Slings it. He gets hit out of bounds at the 48-yard line. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 48. He gets rid of this one. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Throws complete and he's hit right away. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Tackle at the 25 yard line. This is the 10th play of this drive. Quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. This quarterback needs to be careful not to use his arm strength to try to force things because that's when mistakes happen. From the 25 yard line, second down. Over the middle to his tailback. And down he goes around the 16 yard line. That'll make it 31. And this is the 12th play of the drive. Thank you. 
Less than three minutes in the game. Fires it out. And now he's got room to run. And he is drilled at the three. First down. First and goal. You're going to go play action inside the five. Here's the time to do it. Here's the 14th play of the drive. He fires this one. The ball's on the six yard line, and we've got third and goal. Quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. That looked like the same play they just called. Yeah, it was. The defense was ready for it this time. That brings us fourth and goal. Mike three. Mike three. I'm coming to you. I'm coming to you. Come on. You. Check, check. Eagle. They knock it down. Incomplete. I think they had to go for it given the circumstances. They just couldn't pull it off. teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Makes it out to about the 16. It's second down now. They're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Just under two minutes in the game. Gets out to about the 18-yard line. He fights forward to about the 20. Second and eight coming up here. Ball in their own 20. out to about the 22-yard line. Watch it. Seen his name all over the headlines. He's not going to like the headlines tomorrow. No, it just showed up a little bit flat today. And I, I don't know if it's complacency that set in or he just did not quite look like himself. The entire offense didn't look like themselves. And they're going to have to learn from this and try to move on. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.